as O'Neill clips in the free kick, and it was Moscow. And did Reddy carry the ball over the line? He did. Corner. Oh, and then a bit of afters between Yerman and Reddy. Something out of nothing, and the derby started to boil over. Well, Yerman was unhappy that Reddy threw the ball straight into his face. That provoked the response, and now it's a free for all. So it's not quite nothing. <laughs> Um, you may well mount the argument that Matt Yerman's overreacted. But he certainly, in no uncertain terms, did not appreciate having... Now, this really needed to be a goal. The Western Sydney Wanderers' defence was pretty lax at the back. Yeah, that's right in the mush. It's very provocative. Who, me? <laughs> Bank of Victory fans. The claim by Dean Pizarnas. A bit of argy bargy involving uh, Barisha and Donachy, and it's the latter who'll continue the debate. Oh, and Kale and Barisha have got arms raised which could draw the referee's attention. Doesn't need much to fire at Bessart Barisha particularly as James Donaghy. It's done his third consecutive game. And Pizarnas trying to barge the opposition out of the way so he could release the ball. And victory weren't having it. Put him... Here's Brandao. He's trying to take two on. And then he falls, gets the free kick. Well, and then there's some actors involved with Jason Guerrero, who's booked, and it's on again. And I think it's the fact that Brandan, who may well have been fouled, milked the attention. And that's provided the spark once more. And Jared Gillett's got to keep his eyes on about three or four different individual contests here. Jason Guerrier irritated by his direct opponent who threw himself to the ground again theatrically, it must be said. Who'd be a referee, Andy? Both doing a good job. I mean, this is definitely a flashpoint. Well, he is fouled. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Well, I mean, he hasn't done anything that most players wouldn't do. Here's the exchange, I've got you. He's pushed over. Jason Guerrier actually... Saves a goal clearly. That's a foul throw, isn't it? By Franich. Definitely a foul by Troisi. Here we go again. Push and shove. Linesman trying to get in the middle of them. And uh, Jared Gillen, I think wisely here, is calling the two captains over to him to say, listen, let's just calm things down. It's definitely a foul throw. By Franich. Yeah, and that's a foul and that's by That's definitely Troisi. a foul by Troisi. Yeah, he's really giving it to him. To go top of the A leg ladder, completely outplaying the home team thus far. At half time, it's Adelaide United 2, Melbourne City 0. And it's all going off by the sideline as the teams leave for half time. Stefan Mork, a central figure. They've got to keep their call cool here. Navio involved will Mork. They're struggling to hold him back. You've never seen the youngster so irate. Well, what will the officials make of all this? They're trying to separate the two teams before they head down the tunnels. Well, look what this means. Round 27, it's going to continue down the tunnel, it seems. Let's hope no one loses their head. And the whistle from Strebray Dolowski trying to calm things down. We've got some cool heads like Eugene Galekovic. Well, they've got to get in there and sort this out. Relaxes the cry. And we've got so much to talk about, including this. Right after the break. Amazing scenes. What it means to these teams. Final round of the season, Stefan Mork. Amazing pictures. 
Mork still mouthing off. Will he come back for the second half? He's got that rib issue. And it might be in Guillermo Moore's best interests. Probably deserved to have more options in the middle there, Matt Mackay. Oh, Bratton sliding in. And this is going to be a popular booking. And they come together again, those two. Brown and Bratton with leftovers from the training pitch. Last season, you'd reckon. Or well, the season before, rather. Well, that one, they'd already had a flashpoint, Bratton and Corey Brown, in the, in the first half. There was a few right-on-the-limit challenges leading up to that. But that was one of them on Tim Cale, and then Bratton just throws himself in on Corey Brown, cleans him up. Yellow card's the right decision. Nick Meredith might add more on this. Nikovic, who's angry with Carl Valeri. Oh, it's all kicking off here. Got to be careful. It's going to get out of control. Jared Gillett is keeping a watching brief. Arms raised, shirts grabbed. This was the flashpoint that set it all off. Broxham clumsy and careless going into the back of Ninkovic, who's probably frustrated and took those frustrations out on Carl Valeri. And James Troisi has gone into the... I think yep. it's Troisi, yeah, not, it not Broxham. No, no, it's Troisi. Yeah. And it, it's... Troisi led to the defence of his of his captain. Well, is that a, is that a, a case of mistaken identity, maybe? I don't know. No, no, but, well, we both... Because thought... surely Broxham is the one that should be booked, if anybody, for the challenge. Well, it's maybe the last kick of the game. A yellow card has been issued to Pascal Boscart, clearly for something said. Liam Reddy picked up a yellow ticket, too, for arguing in the aftermath of that goal. Quite incredible drama at the death here at Suncorp Stadium. Brisbane looked beaten for all money. But credit to their spirit again. It's all over. Brisbane Raw have won it. Two late, late goals. Absolutely unbelievable. But Barisha and Pascal Boscar continuing the argument. I'll tell you what, this is going to kick off if we're not very, very careful. Liam Reddy has head over and he's involved in a push and shove with Mitch Nichols. It was Bessart Berisher who actually sparked that little row, and this is all getting very, very ugly indeed. Berisha was incensed by something that Boscard had said and invited him to come down the tunnel and take it outside, and it's still going on. Quite incredible scenes at Suncorp. Well, after scored the winner, they went back to halfway. Barisha went up to Frangic, just... And it's still going. But he was jesting to Boschard about something, and Boschard said something. And all of a sudden, Barisha had his shirt off and he was away with everyone following him. Well, Boschard was quite happy to follow Barisha down the tunnel, and that's why everybody else got involved. Well, that one's going to run for some time. Dave Mason, the... Uh... Well, here it is again. That's not Barisha in celebrating the goal. Takes his shirt off, goes over to Boscar and says, come on. Let's go outside. Let's sort this out outside. Dear, who would you back in that? Not that we should be putting uh, any fun into it because it's not what you want to see. And only, well, Padalu sort of gave us a glimpse of, you know, something's happened in the past, obviously, at Cogra when they won that game, but the Boscar, and they haven't forgotten it. Borussia with the late winner. Porque eu não pago grupos